Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We've been having a number of people coming in who are a little confused as to the difference between a sprain and a strain. Well, a sprain, that's S-P-R-A-I-N, a sprain uh, refers to a ligament. Now, ligaments um, are connective tissue that attach bone to bone. And uh, that is what a uh, sprain refers to is those is the ligaments. Now, a strain, that's S-T-R-A-I-N, a strain refers to a muscle or tendon. And um, the muscle or tendon uh, obviously attaches uh, bone uh, together and allows movement of the skeleton. Without muscles or tendons, they, they, you know, they, they need to contract in order for movement to occur. So again, a sprain, S-P-R-A-I-N, refers to ligaments which attach bone to bone. And then a strain refers to muscle or tendon. Now there are different grades. Each one, like if you, uh, there are different grades to types of tearing or pulling of the ligament or tearing or pulling of the muscle or tendon. There's grades one, two, and three in each of those. Like for instance, in a sprain, so that's S-P-R-A-I-N. Again, that's referring to ligament, uh, ligaments which attach bone to bone. You have grade one, which is mild, grade two, is moderate and grade three is severe or complete uh, rupture of that tendon and you get instability. So grade one would be a, a mild sprain and that mild sprain, uh, 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 you may have a slight bruise, it's just a mild stretch, a slight tear. Um, you can still perform your activities with just a, maybe just a little bit of pain. There's some tenderness, there's some swelling, and it can be a little stiff in through there. Now, a grade two sprain, again, we're still talking about uh, ligaments which attach bone to bone. It's a larger tear, more moderate tear, but it's, in, it's not an incomplete tear. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's an incomplete tear. It hasn't fully torn all the way. You get moderate pain, some, some moderate swelling, and a bruise as well. You might get a bruise. And again, it's tender to touch. And performing while you have a grade two sprain uh, is, uh, can be very, 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 very painful. Now, a grade three sprain, again, ligament, which attach bones to bone, uh, is a complete tear. And here you can get some, you severe bruising, uh, severe swelling. It's uh, the joint itself, now that that joint, again, attaches bone to bone, so then there's a joint there. Uh, the joint is very, very unstable, and it uh, feels like the, the, it just kind of wants to give out, uh, for instance, in your ankle or something like that. Now, we go back to strain. That is referring to muscle tendon. And uh, again, there's different grades, grade one, two, and three. Again, mild, moderate, and severe. The grade one is, you know, like before, it's just the, there's just a few fibers of the muscle or tendon that have been torn. It can be a little tender uh, to touch. Uh, there's some pain, but strength is normal. So in other words, you can still perform your activities uh, with a little bit of, just a little bit of pain. Now, grade two, Strain, S-T-R-A-I-N, again, referring to muscle tendon, uh, is moderate uh, with more, uh, more pain, more fibers are, are torn or stretched. Uh, there's some mild swelling, uh, uh, loss of, there's some noticeable loss of strength now because you, you're, you're, you've, you've, you've torn more of the muscle fibers or tendon in there, and you'll, you'll get a bruise as well in there too. Now, grade three, a grade three strain, that's again, muscle, tendon, uh, the, is, is a severe, and this is a complete rupture. In other words, you've, you've, you've ripped that muscle uh, into, into it's it shredded into two. So you, you, sometimes you can hear a pop, or you can even feel the whole thing rip uh, in through there. And you can even sometimes see or feel a, a defect. Like, you know, you can actually feel where there's a hole uh, where, where it's been completely torn in there. And obviously with it, a full tear, you no longer have 
uh, the uh, uh, function of that particular muscle group. In other words, if, if it was your calf, for instance, uh, uh, we, we see sometimes people who get a, a complete rupture, a grade three strain of the calf muscle, which, uh, to the, which attaches to the Achilles tendon, uh, which allows, uh, to, which then attaches to the, um, the heel bone, your calcaneus, and allows you to go on your tiptoes. So, with a complete grade three strain, S-T-R-A-N, that's muscle tendon, of the calf, then you, you can't even step up onto your toes anymore because you've lost that complete, uh, the, the function of that particular muscle group. Anyway, I hope that clears things up. You know, we're getting, uh, some people get a little confused. Sometimes they interchange them. You know, oh, I got a, I got a sprain of, of, of my, of my, uh, my, my shoulder. Well, what, what, what is it? Is it a sprain or a strain? So again, there's, there's a difference. So again, a sprain refers to ligaments which attach bone to bone and crosses, typically cro it crosses a joint. And then you have a strain, S-T-R-A-I-N, which refers to muscle or tendon and allows for us to move our skeleton and move, move around and do all the cool stuff that we do on a daily basis. Um, any questions, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching, we appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you click the notifications button on there so that way you don't even miss any subsequent videos that are coming up here down the pike. Again, we thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.